Oh. Okay, Jess, close your eyes for me. I'll just get you to breathe in and wiggle your toes now. Try panophobia, the fear of needles. I got my first ever piercing last February and before I get into the finer details, let me give you a brief history. I am currently 19 years old and for all those years, I had never had any piercings done. Not even the basic earlobe piercings that most girls get when they're like five years old and can't make up the decision for themselves. Wah. The idea of impaling myself with this metal spike absolutely terrified me. It didn't matter if the procedure was fast and mostly painless, little me wasn't having it. I was convinced that the pain would be unbearable and blood would be splattering out everywhere like a scene from a low budget horror film. People would always suggest I get my ears pierced, but I couldn't even consider it rationally because that was the first visual that popped into my head. But it's okay. I had an escape plan. I think it would really suit you. <laughs> you know what? I might get them done next year. <sighs> this became my catchphrase. Every single year around my birthday, I would have to whip this phrase out and keep the scary needle people away. Then about six years ago, I actually gave it some thought. Oh, I don't think they would suit me at all. All. I would look like Mrs. Potato Head. So I would continuously lie to my friends and family with this line, even though I had since decided that I didn't want them done at all. Ever. I should have just said I wasn't interested when I decided because over time I started receiving earrings as presents. What is up with this peer pressure. This is for you when you decide the time is right. Oh my God, thank you. I don't want them, I don't want them. I can't wait to pierce my ears so I can wear them. Woohoo! Guys, I appreciate the gift and the thought, I really do, but I'm sorry I'm a liar and I'm never going to get them done, okay? into the graveyard with you. I started saying, I'll get them done next year, so often that everyone I knew started to stop believing in me. It even became a recurring joke within my family. And despite this, the gifts kept coming. Oh wow, looks like I'll definitely need to get them done now. <laughs> you heard her, pin her to the ground. No, please, no! I was never going to get them done, and for good reason. <laughs> Another thing I couldn't bear the thought of was infections. Disgusting! I have seen plenty of infected noses and belly buttons throughout my high school days. And it's just... <laughs> but you see, I'm a hypocrite because I... <laughs> I'm a hypocrite because, well, you've seen the title of this video. You know where this is going. When I told my dear mother that I was going to get a piercing, she just laughed in my face. Hey, so uh, I'm thinking about getting a piercing. Ha ha ha, good one, Jess. Have you ever thought of comedy as a career path? Maybe you could be one of those weird online YouTube people. Have you heard of the odd ones? I'm thinking about getting this. Um, I don't know about that. I have a think about it. I think my mom thought that I would change my mind about getting pierced because we all knew that I liked to delay getting it done. But she was wrong because two weeks later... You like it? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Oh, yes. I see. Uh, it's great. Hmm. Now, if it wasn't my earlobes that I got done, then what was it? I'll give you guys a few seconds to guess. I got this, an industrial piercing. Also known as a scaffold piercing, construction piercing, or a bar piercing. <sighs> That's a lot of names. As you can see, you actually get two piercings in one. Then this long boy piece of jewelry connects the two. And it looks sick! I was also considering just getting a normal helix, but... Nah, there's always the option if I ever get sick of the industrial someday, I can take this one out, put another piercing in and boom, 
a helix piercing. Thanks for listening to my TED talk. I was thinking about this specific piercing for a couple months now and then I randomly blurted it out to a group of my friends. Hey guys, so I might get a piercing. Do it. You won't. Fair response, to be honest. So on one fateful day, I rang the piercing place to make a booking for myself and my friend Joe, who was also getting a piercing done, which was his earlobes. And two other friends came along for support, Shannon and Kai. Piercing place shop thing, Gemma speaking, how can I help you? Oh, hi Gemma. I was just wondering, do you have any appointments available today? Hell yeah, we do. How about around 12 o'clock? We were advised to eat some food beforehand, so we had some dumplings and sweet pork buns for lunch, and mm, they were so good. We eventually got to the place, and we were keen as ever. But they turned us away because the F-Plus machine wasn't working, and we had to get physical money out. But we came back even more keen. <laughs> We filled out some agreement forms to let them poke needles through us and we were all good to go. Before Joe went in to get his ears pierced, he had to pick out what type of earrings to get. There were a lot of choices and we were pushing him to get these cute little Hello Kitty ones. He didn't. Thanks for listening to my- Anyway, he picked out some black studs, got his ears stabbed, and then it was my turn. Shannon quickly scurried behind me so she didn't miss any of the action. The piercer was a really nice guy and he was open to any questions I had. Is it a painful piercing to get? Just a hard pinch. It's a bit harder than getting your lobe so since it's a thick cartilage. He lined up everything, got me to check it, and then he had me lay down on the table for the procedure. Okay. Focus on my toes. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh no, I breathed out first. Oh my god, oh my god, oh, no, 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 no. One, two, three, four. We are young, life is fun. Gonna make them, oh my god. James, is that you? I'm such a big fan, hi. <gasps> One, two, three, four. We are young. Good job. You barely flinched. Okay, here comes the second one. And it was just like he said, a hard pinch. I then paid for the piercing and a treatment spray to help with the healing process. And I was on my way. Every morning and night, I spray this salty solution on it and bam. And the, the dirt, dirt is gone. gone. Sorry, that's a kitchen cleaner. Don't use that on open wounds. Please. I'm really happy that I ended up getting this piercing. I really like how it looks, so here it is. Ooh, ear reveal. How quirky. <laughs> I know the healing time can take up to a year for this bad boy, but honestly, I can't feel anything more than half the time. Five-year-old me would be so mad if she saw this. I hope this little story has inspired some of you to seek your own piercing journeys because it has been a great experience for me personally. For my mum though, I'm not so sure. I think she has started to like it. Maybe. If you're like me and the fear is stopping you from getting a piercing done, I highly recommend trying to push past it as soon as you feel ready. Take your time. Conquering the fear and getting what you want is a very important thing to be able to do. Not just for piercings, but life in general. Wow. Inspiring. Just wanted to quickly let you guys know that the Jelly Jess Patreon has been updated and if you want to become a wobbly boy as seen on the title screen here, that reward is available on literally all tier levels. There's also an exclusive shirt design over there now on the highest tier which has the wobbly boys aka you on it. I really like the way it turned out so if you're interested, link is in the description.